What is up guys? It's another day here at RFG on SPP TV. I'm Rob. If you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to be working on my S10 turbo project again. <laughs> If you saw the last video, you see that I got the hot side done. Afterwards, I ended up putting the front end on just to see how everything would fit with these uh, custom inner fenders that I made. As you can see, I had to cut. I'm still going to cut a little bit more, but uh, it's actually not too bad. I don't know if I can get in there. But you can see uh, how much I had to cut out for clearance. And there, you can also see how the hot side connects up. Today, I'm going to do the wastegate placement maybe get started on the exhaust too we'll see how much time i have so yeah stay tuned uh, to see how that goes i got this pipe from uh canadian tire today for the uh, wastegate here's the wastegate by the way ds racing 44 mil i'm gonna go cut this I'm really unsure of where to put this. Um, well, I kind of am sure. I thought about putting it somehow like this, but I think that's gonna be too close to the hot side of the turbo. I can't really go like this. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of mount it off of this piece of tubing right here. So something like, you know, it'll be something like that and it'll be sitting like right there. So hopefully that won't be too hard to get at with, uh, you know, the intercooler piping and all that kind of stuff is what I'm hoping anyways. I guess we'll see. This pipe is one and seven eighths. Uh, it was flared on the one end because it's basically just a piece of exhaust pipe. So I cut that flared end off and now it fits perfectly in the flange, V-band flange for the wastegate. And basically the wastegate just sits on there. Plus I think if I put it down in the corner there, I can run the, um, the t like out pipe, whatever you want to call it, exhaust pipe down like this, because I'm not gonna bother recirculating it into the exhaust. I don't care about the noise when it's, uh, when the wastegate opens. I have it like that on my car and it's, it's cool, so. I'm trying to figure like, exactly where to put this. In order to do spring changes, you gotta take it off. It's V-banded, so it's easy to take off. So I guess it doesn't matter. I was kind of thinking, oh, how am I gonna get at these little bolts when it's in the truck, but it's not gonna matter because I can just take it off. They say it's best to have the uh, wastegate in line with the exhaust flow so that when it opens, it lets the exhaust run out. I think on the shit horse, we did it totally the wrong way and it still works good. But I have to take the front end off because with the front end in the way. Since I have the fender here, I guess I can show some guys who are asking about the custom fenders, inner fenders. Basically, this part here is just the trailer fender. This part here is the original S10 inner fender right here. And then basically, I just filled in this part. Of course, on this one, I had to cut it because I used to have the lower motor pointing up because of tire clearance, but the fan never really worked good that way. So then I change it back. So I'm gonna change this, probably fill part of this in. Plus I'll do something, I don't know, here. I might just leave this open for the turbo to get air. This is just more to keep the dirt from the tires from splashing up inside, which it'll still do even if this was open. So yeah. All right, so now that I got this off, something like that. I guess I have to concern myself with the intercooler piping clearance. It's not in the way of that. Okay, so here's the little piece that I cut off. I want to fit it right where I circled it there. So then I just took this piece and I ground down one part of it with a flap wheel until it fits. Because I'm TIG welding it, I have to have it really tight gaps. It can't, you know, if you were MIG welding it, wouldn't have to be perfect. I obviously have to cut a hole and then that's gonna go on there and the waste gate's gonna be right around there. And then here's the flange. So basically this just goes on here. 
that will get welded on right away. Then I got to cut a hole in this pipe. So I use like a hole saw to cut the hole and clean it up and then weld it onto that pipe and that'll be that. Okay, so here's the pipe tubing, whatever you want to call it, and it's really hot um, for the wastegate. So that's uh, welded on and then once it cools, I'll install it. I'll weld it onto here. I made the hole, use a hole saw, to drill the hole. It actually worked out really good. We'll get that welded on now. All right, so now I got the wastegate on. I also made the dump pipe for the wastegate. So basically, where I had drilled that hole with the hole saw, now I welded that pipe on. There's the wastegate and then there's the dump pipe. So I made a hole in the inner fender with the hole saw too. And so it just comes out the bottom. I was gonna recirculate into the exhaust, but I didn't do it like that on my car and it works good, so. So now my next thing I guess to do is to start on the exhaust. So I got a V-band on there already. It's got a three inch outlet on the turbo, the VS Racing 7875, uh, but I wanna run three and a half inch exhaust, single exhaust. So what I got is this uh, adapter that goes from three inch to three and a half inch. I put the V-band on as tight as it'll go. So there's less of where it's three inch. And uh, yeah, so now I'm gonna weld this, put it on, and then I got a three and a half inch U-bend, and I am going to mock that up and see how that's gonna fit. That might be interesting to get it down into like the inner fender, because it's, or not inner fender, but down in there, because it's pretty tight. But if I have to, I mean, I'll cut some more of this here. If I have to cut the floor a little bit, the firewall right there, I will. That's no big deal. That's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna TIG weld that on and then uh, see how the exhaust is gonna fit. So I got that welded on there. I cut the three and a half inch U-bend and I fit it on there. So, so far it's pretty good. This is this joiner, but I didn't even realize this is actually stretched open so that this slides right in. So I'll end up cutting this back to here because I don't want this bigger piece. So I'll cut it back to here and weld it. It goes there and turns. It's pretty good. Obviously, if I'm gonna keep my heater, I gotta modify the heater box, but I already do for the engine and the exhaust pipe. And then you can maybe see there that it goes, starts going down there. I have room to get the other half of that U-bend up beside the transmission and the frame. And then once it gets kind of up there to get it to join that pipe, looks like it might be a little bit tricky. So I might have to go like to the left a bit, to the right. So I might need a few more little bends. So I'll have to buy another U-Bend or some 90s or 45s. I'm not 100% sure. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. I've got a lot of progress this weekend, I think. So I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so it is actually a couple days after the last clip there. I'm out here working on the truck again. Um, we had a little bit of a discussion uh, slash controversy last night. Uh, Clayton was here and he looked at my hot side and he didn't really like it, so. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get your guys' opinion, so I'm gonna show you what he was talking about, and I'd like you guys to go in the comments and let me know whether you think that uh, he's crazy or, uh, or this is actually gonna work. So basically, when I made the hot side piping, as you can see, you know, it comes from around the corner there, goes here, and then when it gets in here, it basically just more or less goes into this pipe, which just goes up there to the turbo, right? Like it's only like four or five inches, tiny, tiny bit there. Anyways, what he was saying is that this piece here should have, should go more of an angle so that the air or the exhaust as it comes through here, you know, it'll transition nicer into here. Uh, originally when I first started making it, that was kind of my plan was to have it going kind of like that. But just with the bends and stuff I had, this is kind of how it worked out. And I kind of figured, ah, you know, it, it only goes like a little bit up here. It's not going to make a big deal, but, uh, he seems to think it's going to be a big deal. So yeah, go down in the comments below and comment. Let me know what you think. If you think I should change it or not. I mean, I'm leaning towards not changing it because I think it, it's fine and I think it looks good and I don't really want to cut it apart again, but if enough people say that it, uh, it's not going to work good, then I would uh, consider changing it. For today, I'm going to do some more stuff. I got to figure out where the O2 sensors go, the narrow band ones. I have to mark those out and drill holes and take weld those on the bungs. I have bungs for them and stuff. So I want to do that. And then I'll probably look at the exhaust, continue on with the exhaust building, or maybe 
start looking at the intercooler. So I'm gonna decide on that right now. All right, so I'm kinda looking at the exhaust. I have the fender off here. So now you can see the exhaust goes from there, obviously. And then it goes down here where it's pretty tight down here. S10s are bad for that, even with the uh, just a small block conversion, let alone trying to put a three and a half inch pipe in there. So you can see this is where this pipe ends and that's where that other piece which sits pretty much where it needs to sit as it goes towards the back. So I need to uh, join those two together and from the looks of it I'm going to need to get a few more bends to get that going. So I probably won't do anything else on that tonight. Okay so after I kind of gave up on the exhaust I decided to look at it again. I think I might have come up with something at least to get it further than where I was. Right now I got that piece which is the original piece. Then I cut up that other half of the U-bend and I got this part tacked on here. So I'm hoping that this part here is gonna fit and kind of get me like, kind of gets me to like this position here, down and then I'm hoping that I might be able to use this other part of the bend here basically like turn it around maybe something like that and that'll get me kind of down past the transmission firewall area and then from there I can go with maybe a 90 and that'll get me all the way to under the truck and then I can use straight pipe and then a muffler if I'm going to use a muffler so I'm going to try test fitting it right now okay so now you can see again I have it on there and then it goes there and then it turns and now it's kind of just between the firewall and the engine. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever worked on the S10 before, but a lot of S10s, they have lots of problems getting like just the header through when it has uh, a small block in it. So basically where that exhaust pipe is right now, I've already cut that out before for header clearance and bashed it with a hammer and stuff. So. For me to cut a bit of that floor if I have to and modify it is no big deal because I kind of have to cut it out anyways because it's kind of beat up so I'm probably going to cut it up and, and you know I can box it back in but I don't want to take too much because then that impacts the floor in there. So I'm going to get under there now and see if that other little piece of bend will actually get me where I need to go. I got it all tacked together and actually it looks really good. You know that's one of those things you think you don't aren't gonna get it and then you just think about it for a few minutes and then it comes to you as I said before that's that it kind of goes down and then you can see the next piece goes down it's tight but it doesn't touch the transmission it doesn't even touch the firewall back here I'll go for a little ride underneath of course it's not gonna focus good under here put a little light on the subject here but as you can see it goes right down doesn't touch anything. It's kind of touching the floor up here, but if you can see here, the floor was all bashed to crap for the old exhaust. So I'm gonna fix that. And then basically just off of here will be a 90 and it'll go straight back. So that's awesome. I just gotta weld it all together. All right, so here's what I got. So obviously that's from the uh, turbo. Then where it goes there and then there and then there. And so then that basically gets it um, right down there where I can use a 90 degree and then some straight and then uh, basically that's it. So that's pretty awesome. And this slips in and out of the truck no problem. On this end I'm going to put some kind of maybe I'll get another V band or else I'll get those kind of like band clamps that hold the exhaust together because uh, if I make it all one piece I'll never be able to get it off the car. So now I'm going to weld this all together. Going blind for these clips. Got a decent start cleaning this uh, L33 block up last night. I didn't really videotape any of it because you know it's just us cleaning and scraping off dirt. This engine was definitely filthy. We took it to the car wash once already, you guys saw, and now we're just kind of scraping all the leftover stuff off. There'll probably be a video about this engine soon because we're gonna like start the build on it. Uh, we're actually gonna put some parts into it, like a fancy turbo cam and a bunch of other good stuff so we can actually max out our turbo in the shit horse with this engine and it should be able to handle the power. 
Post in the comments if there's any specific parts you'd like to see us test out on this thing. We won't be going super expensive, but uh, willing to spend some money on it this time. Hey, that's why we're together. Yeah. It here and hold it. It's not hot. Isn't it gonna be? Well, not really. I'm only gonna tack it. Is it good? Yeah. Well, we'll I'll just tack it and then double check it. Okay. Well, the thing is, if I weld it on crooked, then it's not gonna. Good. I'm gonna have to put a 90 on that one. Spark plug at the rear? Yeah. What kind of spark plugs? Yeah, it's a little stopping? tight. Yeah, see, like they're straight on. But I can put a 90 on there. <laughs> no. But I can put a 90 no. there. I can put a 90 there and have it going this way, and it'll be fine. Look at that. Nice welds. So if I just change it to a 90 degree boot for this one, yeah, I can still get it off. Huh, oh yeah, there's room. Yeah. Not bad. I'll have to cut like a section of it out here. Whatever. I don't know. Obviously it's not gonna fit in there like that. But where the engine is, it'll just have to be totally flat. It doesn't interfere with this part anyway, so. And then here yeah. I might have to cut a section out or whatever to go around the exhaust or just throw the heater away one of the two. looks pretty good and i'm surprised it's all uh fitting in there like it is so nicely when you held the turbo over the engine at the beginning looked tight yeah no, with the tpi in there it looked I know tight it did it did but uh seems like it got room i got the exhaust done it's all welded up now here all the way down so now it goes right down where I showed you underneath there. It goes right down there. And uh, now I just need, I think, a 90, and that'll get me right under the truck and ready to go to the muffler. So I guess that's all for today. So like always, like, comment, subscribe. Hit the like button, the thumbs up button, whatever buttons we have that you can hit. All the buttons. All the buttons. Besides the dislike one.